Hey everyone, it is Beth Z, your nerdy best friend, and I'm breaking into your holiday festivities because I need you to pay attention to, to what's going on. One of my favorite, favorite, favorite cybersecurity tools, LastPass, has been hacked. Many of you have gotten on LastPass, some of you because I have been telling people about it for decades, or more than a decade probably, since as soon as I got on it, I was like, this is fantastic. It lets you save one master password, the last password you're ever going to need. And then all of your other passwords are stored in a vault that's supposedly very, very secure. Well, they've been hacked and some shady things are going on and I need to tell you about them. Let me go through the history. Now, if you are a LastPass customer, you would have received an update about this, but I swear to gosh, they are not speaking in plain language. They are not telling us straightforward what's going on. I've been looking at all of the different hacker groups and the, the other technology gurus out there talking about this. And they're like, there's a lot of stuff they're not saying. And I actually called the company and I said, you need to tell us these things. And the poor woman on the phone, she said, I know they're not telling us these things and we don't even know. So I'm really concerned about this and I need you to know what's going on. And then maybe together we can figure out where we're going to go from here. So a little bit of history. In August of this year, LastPass sent out a note saying that there was something that happened in their system. So a lot of companies have like a sandbox where they do it, do uh, test out different things. And LastPass said that their development environment, their little sandbox was hacked. And so they said, there's nothing wrong. We got, they got in there, but it was someplace where there was no real data and they didn't get anything and it's okay. So here are the FAQs they put out. Has your master password been compromised? No. Has the data been stolen? No. Has any personal information been taken? No. And what do I need to do? Nothing. So that's what they said in August. Now I'm gonna scroll up here real quick. In November, no, in September, um, they said you update us and we've completed our investigation and that they said it was only a four day period in August and everything's good. Then we get to November and what they said was the people who had somehow, I think it's the same people who had the other information about them and gotten into the other area, the developmental area, got into their main part, right? And an unauthorized party using information obtained in the August 2022 incident was able to gain access, all right? So to certain elements of our customer's information, that's what they said in November. Our customer's passwords remain safely encrypted and we're working to find out what's going on. That was November, November 22nd, I think, November 30th. So then December 22nd, well, I don't know about you, but I was pretty much all celebrating with the family and, and not paying attention. December 22nd, they released this. You see how long it is. December 22nd, they said, uh, you remember that um, unauthorized party thing that happened? Well, we want you to know that they stole backups of our vault. They stole backups of our vault. So all of the passwords that you have that are stored in this un, uh, unreachable vault are now in the hands of bad guys. I don't know how, how long ago the backups were stolen. You know, it could be last year's back. I don't know. I don't know which one. Um, but they were stolen from the vault. What I'm hating is all of these words. Last pass is not being forthcoming with the truth. Uh, there's like, we have determined that once the cloud storage, da da da, customers, da da da. They were also able to copy a backup of the customer vault data from the encrypted storage container. Yes, they have our vaults. 
These encrypted fields remain secured with this stuff and only can be decrypted with a unique encryption key derived from each user's master password. So, um, what LastPass is telling us here in all this gobbledygook, frankly, is they have your vaults, but they still can't get into them because of our magic super glue that keeps the vault encrypted. I'm not believing things right now. I am not trusting this stuff right now. I think they're, uh, I think it's a really, really, really bad thing. And I think LastPass is being very cagey about the security of those vaults. So they say, don't worry, the vaults can't be got into, can't be breached unless they know your master password. And here's the deal. Then they say, if you have followed our procedures about your master password, then it should be extremely difficult to attempt to brute force guess master passwords. Extremely difficult. Listen to that. If you had followed all of their suggestions and had the master password that they want you to have with a lot of, um, you know, exclamation points and, and things, you can't even read it out loud. It's not something you would know off the top, like nothing anybody could guess. If all those things are true, then it would be extremely difficult. You know, they don't even say impossible. They say it's extremely difficult. Um, they, so here's what they're saying is that, okay, they can't brute force it, probably. It will be extremely difficult, but they may be coming to you and trying to fish you. So they may send you a note that maybe looks like it's from LastPass to change your password or to give it to them or something like that. And then the bad actors will be able to just get you to give them to them, trick you into giving it to them. Um, it's important to know that LastPass will never call, email, or text you to ask you for a link to verify your personal information. What should customers do? This is a mess. It says, as a reminder, you're supposed to have this. We required a 12 character minimum, and that greatly minimizes the ability. You hear, that? You hear these words? Minimizes the ability for successful brute force password guessing. And then we use a stronger than typical implementation of uh, 100,100 iterations of the blah, 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 blah. Um, and then we also recommend that you never use it. Uh, Y'all, they said, what can we do? You cannot do anything because it is out there. And so they're saying, if you have done what we told you to do, you're okay, maybe, possibly. And if you haven't, oh dear. If you use the default settings above, it would take millions of years to guess your, ma your master password usually using a generally available password technology. The brute force thing where they try every possible combination, they just keep trying. If you use the default settings, now, how many of you have a passphrase that you use for your master password or something that is not incredibly complicated or uh, you've reused that master password elsewhere other than LastPass to get into that thing? You are definitely at risk. All of us are at risk. I was watching with, uh, I think the, the CEO of 1Password started saying, nope. It's not millions of years to guess some of these passwords. It's two months of brute force attacks, brute force computations to guess some of these passwords. If they're 12 characters that are random, two months. Like there are a lot of different red flags in this. And I don't think they're, they're telling us, I know they're not telling us everything. I know that there's a lot of reason to be concerned. I know that I, I don't even know what to do. I know that I don't know what to do. I am going to, I mean, I'm all in with last task. Like I have my staff on it. I have my husband on it. I have my dad on it. I'm like, all these people, I'm like, you have to be on it. It's, it's what you need. And now I don't know what to do. We can export all of our data from last task. You can go and do that right now. But you also need to go back and change your passwords. 
because they may have access to your vault with all of your password. Um, what's going on? I, I, I can't really tell you uh, because they're not telling us. So I'm going to keep my eye on it. Um, it's important to note that if your master password does not make use of the defaults above, then it would be significantly, it would significantly reduce the number of attempts needed to guess it correctly. In this case, as an extra security measure, you should consider minimizing risk by changing passwords. Well, is those like, I, I just don't think they're taking this. I don't think they're taking, uh, responsibility for what happened. And I don't think they're being honest with this. And I'm, I'm mortified. I'm embarrassed. I, I'm devastated. I'm worried about my own security and my own passwords. I probably have 900, maybe 1500 passwords in there because of all of the things that I try out and they're all, you know, complicated passwords and things, but I've also got my bank and my credit card. And so those kind of things I'm going to go change. And I am going to look into where I'm going to transition. Transitioning is going to be hard. There's a lot of things that go into this transition that, that we all need to think about. How you access it, are you sharing it, uh, where you're keeping it. It should be a wake-up call for all of us to make sure that our passwords are uh, in a good place because uh, uh, it's just so frustrating. And... I just, I feel like they're not being honest with this. And that's what's disappointing me the most. When I was talking to the person at the last pass help desk or whatever, telling her like, you know, I don't know what to tell my followers. She said, well, I will put in, you know, I will put all of your notes in and send it to the engineers and the security people and let them know you're an influencer and that they should write you back personally. And I'm like, great, but um, less. That still doesn't help me. Uh, that doesn't help me personally, doesn't, that doesn't help my followers, that doesn't help all the people we need to check in with on this. So go back, if you are using LastPass, and a lot of you are, go back into your email and see if you can find that email where they sent you this information, because they did. It's just long and full of gobbledygook. You're not being very clear with us. And it takes a lot of reading between the lines to understand what happened and where we are right now. And I'm waiting for updates for, uh, you know, it's been now eight days, I guess, since uh, December 22nd. I've been waiting for updates to see if anything else has come up and nothing else has. So I'm, I'm nervous and I'm, I knew things like this can happen, but I'm just, I'm, I'm really sad. that something that I trusted so much and I told y'all to trust seems to be so untrustworthy at this point. So I'm going to stop right here. If you have any questions, let me know. I don't really have any answers, but, uh, you know, keep in touch with me and we'll try to figure out what's going on. I'll give you updates as I hear them, but I needed to do this video for you to let you know what's going on, draw attention to this. If you have a really easy last pass, um, password, uh, change everything, just change everything because they could crack it. If you think it's easily crackable, they're going to know it's easily crackable and they can get rid of it. So thank you for listening. Please be safe out there. Please have a happy new year. And I hope to talk to you soon. Until then, nerd on.